Good morning. Welcome to Philosophy. I'm your host, Jennifer Philodori. And I'm coming back from about five days off, so I have no idea what's going on, but I do have some Gentel today. Went into meditation, got a, some random stuff, and um, and then we'll be taking some questions. Looks like we got lots of people here today. Everybody is hungry for news. Um, I do have some news. Not a lot. Um, there seems to be a lot of things going on behind the scenes right now, especially now more than ever. Um, and so, uh, without knowing, I was totally tuned out, I don't know, for Easter. And then I took a day off to recoup from those, uh, festivities and all that work for Easter. Um, you guys know how the moms do it. Run ourselves into the ground for a meal <laughs> and everybody eats and then they're done in like 20 minutes. So I did that, and it turned out good. Everything turned out well. Tried some new recipes. Everything worked out. Did a ham. I hope everybody had a happy Easter. Told you nothing was going to happen before Easter, by the way. Just saying. But, um, so, last week we got that our RV window is between the 1st and the 12th. I thought that would be like when we would be in there, but apparently it may be just be when we get our notification. So um, there's a lot of stuff going on in the world right now uh, to prepare for that. I asked today, this is not in the Gentile, but I asked, I said, okay, so what if we get to May and they go to gold and we miss it? Will we miss it, Gabriel? And he said, no, the whole world has to go to gold. Uh, we're not going to miss it. It's an important step that has to happen before we go to gold. So if we get to May and we haven't done this, then we have to then go into gold is put off. But um, so don't worry, we're not going to miss it. I was starting to think that. I was like, uh, we're not going to miss this, are we? <laughs> no, we're not going to miss it. Um. I'm just looking at the comments here. People are talking about stuff. Really? Hmm. Where's my mods today? Oh, we got Stop the BS over there. I don't think I, I can't delete from here, but if my mods are in there, um, looks like it's coming from YouTube. So that would either be Jennifer Flaw Doring or, um, huh. So interesting people would spend their time. Their lives must be boring. Must be unemployed or something. Spend all your time tuning into someone's show who's spending their time for free to try and give people hope. And they would sit there and push out all their negative energy. Really says a lot more about them than it does about me. Moving on. <clears throat> so. Let's put up the banners. All right, here we go. This is Gentel for April 2nd, 2024, Interdimensional Meditation by Jennifer Flaud Doring. The sixth level of heaven is where I went to meet with Archangel Michael and Gabriel on in the field in front of my tree, my special tree. RV News. So what's going on right now is most bonds have been paid. The people that just have that have bonds, like and NDAs have been signed. 
Okay. So those people aren't going to be able to tell you much. Um, we're waiting for a document to be signed for the currency RV. So the bonds you can do. The currencies, we're waiting for a document to be signed now. And I believe it's something between Pakistan and the USA. And I don't know if this is some kind of old agreement, military agreement, or new thing. I don't know what it is. Uh, but Wednesday is the estimate estimated signature date um, for that signature for those documents to be signed and then the rates posted after that. So if we approximately, okay, don't freak out if dates aren't exact. Um, also in the news this week, now, how I got this information, you know, I'm just coming back from five days off. I'm out of the swing of things. I just went in in the morning and um, heard random words and saw scenes um, trying to get what will be in the news this week. And so I heard undersea cables. Now, these may all be related or separate uh, occurrences. Okay. Undersea cables. Now, this one was a trip. I saw canyons. I heard canyons. And then I saw what almost looked like a uh, kind of very Grand Canyon-y looking scene. But it wasn't red, okay? It was more of a, a sandy colored canyon. So I don't know if it's here or somewhere else in the world. But um, there'll be something in the news about canyons, or we'll see that in an area like that. Next thing I heard is possible earthquakes. And after that, I heard Pacific Rim. And we all know what the Pacific Rim is. Um, I don't believe I was underwater looking at this scene. I believe it was above ground, uh, but I'm not sure. So we've got, the next thing I heard was military and charges. So I don't know if these are charges like blowing things up. Could be if the previous things are possible earthquakes and canyons and the Pacific Rim. Or it could be, you know, like they have charges against somebody's got, someone got in trouble and has charges against them. So it's just military and charges, and we'll take we'll keep a look eye out to see what happens um, relating to that. Underground tunnels flooded. So if you got some weird activity going on in your area and a lot of rain or a lot of flooding, sounds like they're still cleaning up the bad guys. Um, and then I got charges dropped. Is that relating to Trump? Is I don't know who that's relating to, but charges dropped this week. Now, everybody's been asking about the eclipse. I originally got that it's not a whole lot would happen with that. I asked Gabriel about it, and he says the eclipse causes minimal damage or delays in communications or services. So no real big deal there, but it is used as a disguise for military operations in the country and worldwide. They're rounding up the remaining cabal right now. And that's where we're at. Um, so, recap. We'll go back over. And now these Gentile notes will be posted on uh, philosophy on telegram um i post gentle notes under jennifer philodoring and also on philosophy on telegram we do have a chat everybody talks a lot it's your little, own little private news feed over there lots of really nice people there every so often we get a jerk come in there but they don't last long Recap. All right. So we've got most bonds have been paid and the NDA signed. So if you're hoping to hear a whole bunch from those people, I wouldn't tell you anything. <laughs> it was me. Sorry. Um, 
We're waiting for a document to be signed for the currency RV. Something about Pakistan, something about USA involved in this. I was trying to get the country, and all of a sudden I heard Pakistan. All right. Wednesday is the estimated signature date. Estimated signature date. Okay. I did not come out here and say we're going to get a rate on Wednesday. Okay. So all you people said, Jen said, no, no. Estimated signature date for that document that needs to be signed. I assume this is a, is a new thing or maybe some something that needs to be lifted. Um, I don't know. I'm only going to get a certain amount of information so I don't get myself in trouble. Okay. So the angels aren't going to give me anything that's going to get me in trouble. Um, Wednesday estimated signature date. Rates posted after that. So in the days after that, <laughs> um, so and then here's a series of words and scenes that I saw and heard. Okay, one undersea cables. Something going on with that. We're gonna see something about that. Or something going on that's unexplained, like wide outages. We could go down here to the eclipse and blame it on that, couldn't we? Um, canyons. I saw like a real sandy looking side, like I was looking over the rim of something down at this very sandy, rocky canyon, deep, deep canyons. Um, Possible earthquakes. I heard Pacific Rim. Um, so that could mean volcanoes. We don't know. We'll see what's going on. Now, this could all come together as something going on in the Pacific Rim. Um, military charges. Military. And then I heard charges. Okay. Underground tunnels flooded. They're still doing that. So I don't know if they found more. I don't know um, if the enemy is hiding. Kind of getting that. I feel like they fled. There's a lot of them fleeing and then hiding. Um, charges dropped was the last one. So I don't know if that related, relates to the military charges or, you know, we'll just have to see how this all plays out. So I have a feeling we're going to have a lot of Gentile confirms as things pop up throughout the week. Um, now, the eclipse itself, I don't see anything. I don't see any damages. It was just an eclipse. I don't see any problems. Um, now, you know, if there's some major mass, you know, massive disaster or something, I usually don't see that. Okay? They don't give that to me so that I can panic run around screen, the sky is falling until it happens. So a lot of times, you know, and especially in my personal life, it just, I just don't see it. There's no, and if there's nothing I can do about it, then they usually don't cause me any kind of needless suffering beforehand. So the eclipse, uh, minimal damage or delays in communications or overseas when it comes. Um, it is used as a disguise and has been, they've been, Really pumping that in the media. Oh, the eclipse and the military is going to be set out, which is interesting. If they're sending out the national card to be in place or the military to be in place, should anything happen with the eclipse? How many eclipses have we had? Have you ever seen that before? No. Doesn't make any sense now, does it? The, um, it's used as a disguise for military operations in country and worldwide. They're rounding up the remaining cabal. So if they got something they know is going to go down on the 8th, could be something that the other side is threatened to do. Who knows? But, um, and they know that they're going to have military in place here and there public's gonna have to have a reason they're gonna say um why do we have tanks on the corner oh it's the eclipse 
okay. You know, everybody goes, everybody just does that. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, why would that, you know, what are we going to have like tidal waves? I mean, we're going to have tsunamis. We're going to have all this, you know, what's going to happen? You know, all oh, the electrical grid's going to go down. Really? It's that vulnerable. An eclipse can come through. I don't remember it going down before. I mean, it's all hype to cover up something else. And we've seen this happen before. Okay? Don't panic. Um, I mean, if anything, you know, you, you get power outages for a short period of time or something in the area. Um, do I have any mods here today? Um, because we've got another Eagle one I don't like. Um, yeah. What can we go and get those guys? Yeah. Let's talk about what happens when you project negative energy at other people. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Hmm. You draw to you that which you project. Okay. You ever want to, you ever want to, you ever wonder why everybody says, oh, we love you, Jen. We love you, Jen. Just cause, is it everything that I do for them? No. There's lots of psychics out there. Why do they love me? Because I'm loving them. Because I'm watching and I'm listening and I'm giving them what they need to the best of my ability. If you don't like that, I don't care. I don't care. You really ought to take a look at what you're doing with your life. Is your life up? Are people being mean to you? Is everybody throwing their negative energy and hate and, and everything falling, crumbling in your life? Do you feel the need to throw that onto somebody else? Are you being paid to do so? Have you made a pact with the devil? Maybe. Take a good deep look at that one. But you really ought to take a look, all you haters, at what you're projecting. Because sooner or later, they'll come back to bite you in the ass and you won't even understand why. Why is this happening to me? Why did that person cheat me? And why did that person say those terrible things to me? Are you doing that to others? That's just the way it goes. There's nobody up there with a pen saying, yeah, okay, that was not okay. We'll write that down and, and we'll get them in a couple weeks. You know, we'll schedule that. Schedule everything going to shit in a couple weeks for that guy. It's just the natural way that energy works. It's just a natural way that this ripple effect, you know? Um, so before you get on there or on the internet, start dumping your negative energy Think about what's going to come back to you. And you might want to spend a little more time pushing out some love and some hope and some happiness if that's what you want to attract into your life. Because it's your own damn fault if everything goes to crap and everybody's mean to you. Because you are experiencing what you chose to experience. Because of your behaviors. You ever wonder why you're drawn to a show like this so you can come in here and give me crap? Because my audience and I, my audience is full of empaths. I'm an empath. And as much as you hate it, it makes you feel good to listen to me. And then you feel the desire to get on the chat and start dumping out crap. Dumping out all your disappointments and your anger and your fear. How embarrassing. 
It's really more about you showing everybody what a mess you are. And you are not, you don't fit in with the movement. Okay. Me more than anybody. And there's a lot of truthers with millions of people watching them. But they don't know those people close. They don't know those people deeply. I do. I talk to them. I know they're, I hear about their family and their health conditions and their feelings and their children and their grandchildren and their beliefs and their hopes and dreams. And, the, you know, and people will come to me and just cry and walk away better. And no amount of crap that you throw at me is ever going to diminish the feeling that I get and the satisfaction that I get from that. And I've said it for years and I will say it again. I will not ever allow your lack of faith to diminish mine. And none of you in the chat should allow that person or anybody else to do that either. So. Um, all right. Let's get to some questions. I suppose that would be my thought over coffee today. some more thoughts. You know, sometimes people, you wonder, does it seem like there's just phases in which people come along and it's just, they're just annoying as hell? I mean, people are just annoying you. And could it be, you know, it's like, is it me? Am I, is it hormones? I mean, am, am I really just, you know, do I need a vacation? Well, probably. But, and it possibly could be. But I always see it's like, oh, okay, we're going through this kind of time right now. Okay, everybody's upset. Everybody's coming back at me. Everybody's just annoying. Okay? That's really the time when you need to... If you, want, if you need to get it out, go and get it out by yourself. Okay? If you have to communicate something, absolutely communicate something. But take a step back and say, what's the most productive way that I could possibly communicate this without creating more problems with this person, right? Or you can write it down. Get it out. Write it down. Say the words. Or you could just sit down like meditation and, and picture yourself talking to yourself. Okay? You can sit down in meditation, talk to Jesus, talk to God. Either way. Tell yourself, okay, let's say it's your higher self, okay? Everything. Don't apologize for the way you feel. Just tell them everything you feel, everything you feel. And then maybe listen a little bit. You'll probably get some guidance on how to proceed. Because the best way is to say, well, I feel this and I feel that. And, you know, yeah, some of it could have been my fault. How should I proceed? How can I get through this and over this and proceed? You know, ask for cleansing and um, I mean, really listen because the answers are there most of the time. And um, I got to get this person off the screen. I just really, if I have any mods over on, um, I thought I made quite a few mods over there. Oh. Let's see, dumbass said, you can't block God's work. That's absolutely true. The answers are there. You just have to open up and listen. That is absolutely true. Uh, 
There we go. At least it's not on my page. I can't see you anymore, so your efforts are stupid and just worthless. So anyway, I'm moving on. Moving on from that. Um, We're in a time right now where you look across the landscape and it's getting bad. It's getting bad. I told you guys a long time ago, if they put this thing off too far, it's going to get bad. And it's getting bad. It's really starting to look like a depression out there. And if you're sensitive, and even if you're not, you're going to start to feel that collective energy. Okay? That's what it means to be a beacon of light. Why do I know this? Because I've felt it, and I've gotten down, and I've felt everything that you guys feel. And I'm, you know, I over and over in my life, and, and what do you do when you get back to the corner? Do you lay down and let somebody beat you? Do you let all that energy and situations and debt and worries and all this crap beat you down? No. Get, just take a second. Get smart. And you come out swinging. Because God did not send the weakest of warriors to be here at this time. He sent the best. He sent the seasoned. And you guys all know it way down deep in your soul. Even when everything hits you so hard and so heavy. It never took you. You're still here. Some of you shining. And if you feel like it's really a little bit hard to shine right now. Well, then let's just feel that. Let's work through it. Let's give it the justice due. And then let's be done with it. And you get up off that floor. And you come out swinging. And you remember who you are. And you remember what's true. And if you just think about it, you take a look at that road ahead. Will it? You know, they're thinking, oh, my God, what if everything falls apart? Oh, my God, what if, what if I can't do it? What if, you know, like for me, what if people stop coming to me? You know, what if I can't make a living? What if, what if we, you know, what if we lose the house? What if, you know, I can't support everybody? And they're just... Take a real good, honest look at that. Is that ever really going to happen? No. Mm -mm. No. So. It's business as usual until it is not. It is still coming. It is a real thing. And um, we're not going to miss it. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at some questions. Take that banner off. I get into what I'm talking about. And then I have to take it down. And this person's got all kinds of accounts just all over the freaking place and just distracting as hell. What a loser. <laughs> anyway, all right, guys, hit me with your questions. What do you want to know? What's going on in the world? I got about 15 minutes and then I got a full day. Um, emails. I took off for five days. They're still sitting there. I have not forgotten you. I'm going to get in there probably end of the day because I'm booked back to back all day long. And, you know, with the economy the way it is, I might start thinking about doing like Saturday readings. So if anybody would be interested in that, I would have to get a pretty good response. Um, I might do some pop-up readings too. And a pop-up reading would be where I'd get on Telegram and say, hey, I've got two hours. Who wants them? And then I'd ask you to private message me on Telegram. And then when I answer you back, that's me. Because you private messaged me first. And I would give you a link to pay and then a number to call. And we would do it. And then the other person would be next. Um, but for Saturdays, we're going to schedule those the same way. Okay, so that would be a post on Telegram. And I'd ask you not to email me, but to private message me. 
Those are so many emails. I mean, it's, I really need to hire somebody to do emails, but I can't, they, they can't answer the questions that I, I do. So, um, so it's gotta be me. But if I get a big enough response, I may go ahead and start doing, um, not every Saturday, cause that would suck. Um, but you know, I may do a Saturday readings. Um, cause there are a lot of people that can't do it during the week or maybe evening. But by the time I get to the evening, you know, if I've been doing readings for like seven, eight hours, I'm like, Duh. I mean, like, I can't do much after that. <laughs> it's like, I don't, I have no idea what's happening with you. Okay. My goodness. I need to go in and make Chris and I need to make more mods on YouTube. Stop being distracted by that. All right, I'm looking, just seeing it because I'm looking for comments. All right, here we go. My husband is in a rehab to be able to walk again. Can you see if he'll be able to walk again on his own and come home, Victoria? It might take a few months. But he will. You know, with a cane, he probably have a cane for quite a while. Um, or some kind of assistance to help him. Um, but yeah. Yeah, he will. I do see him at home. I do see him. It's either a walker or a cane. He's leaning on something to get around. Will I have to rush back home for my Texas trip next week? Or will I have plenty of time? to sightsee in Utah. Oh, I know what you're asking. Um, so if we get notifications, um, notifications via phone call, you would schedule a time when you can be there and then you can make the decision whether you want to come home early or not. So it's just a phone call. As long as you have phone service, um, you're good. And it's not going to be something like, oh, you got to call from your home landline because hardly anybody has a landline anymore. I kept a landline for so many years because everybody guilted me and said, oh, you have children. You have to have a landline. And I'm like, okay. Um, but now, you know, and then everybody had their own phones and I'm like, why do we have a landline? Okay. Hardly anybody has a landline. Susan Jones. Okay, we're going to be okay with that, with the Zim, trying to stay positive. More than okay, Susan, you're going to make it. Just trying to make sure, to the best of your ability, that everybody's doing everything they need to do in the meantime. The problem is, a lot of people that I've seen, like I told you, I talk to a lot of people on a personal level. The problem arises when you stop with business as usual, anticipating that this is going to happen. This is a someday, very soon, but this has always been a someday kind of thing, okay? It's always been kind of a lottery dream, right? So much easier than winning the lottery, okay? My God. This person, the level of evil in this person is, you know, it's probably mental illness. This is all probably not. It's either that or their special needs. But I think... Um, Evil's more likely. Person making all these terrible comments. Can't break me down, dude. Can't break me down. <laughs> all right. Looking for a good one. Let's see what we got. Dog Prince Charming has been having skin issues for the past year. We have tried everything okay Marta. 
Prince Charming, Jesus. He's got an allergic reaction to almost everything. I don't know if this is a purebred. Um, that's going to be a hard one. That's a hard one because he's allergic to so many things. I just say you might want to have him on like antihistamine like a person, you know, on a regular basis. Um, it's kind of like the kid that's allergic to everything. He just, it's, it's a struggle. Good luck to you with that. Um, I do think he can manage it. I don't, I don't see where a place to go back to normal somehow along the way the system changed and he is allergic, having allergic reactions to, to damn near everything. Um, Should I worry about my high credit card balance? Do you see me paying them off this year? Well, we always want to stay current on that kind of thing. Um, that can get you real fast if you're late. Um, because or if you go over the limit, you never really want to put, and yeah, 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 everybody ran up their cards, okay? Everybody ran up their cards. Um, best rule is never... Just to always keep about a third of your balance on there. Um, you don't want to get too close to the limit because then, then they'll charge you interest and put you over the limit. Then they'll charge you over the limit fee. And then if you're a day late, they'll charge you a late fee. And then it snowballs and it just keeps going. And then you just can't, you know, and then you're like, oh, my God. I, did, I, I know this because, well, I've done it on accident, really. You know, when you just, oh, I thought I paid that. And you're like, oh, great. Now it's like $700, and I wasn't counting on that just to get current. But um, you might have to do something in the meantime just for peace of mind um, to get those down a little bit um, if you can. As we move through the the spring and summer, I'm thinking maybe summer. Um, I do see a point in time where it's not a concern for you anymore. I just don't want to give you a date and have you hold off on it, on taking care of things. We really need to face things at face value. It's people that don't and let things go, like the house payment and everything that gets so panicked. Why isn't this happening right now? Why isn't this happening? It has to save me. Well, you got to save yourself. You got to do something in the meantime. All right. Daughter Amanda is pregnant and thinks she may miscarry. It's kind of touch and go right now. I think they save it. I don't know if they put her on bed rest, um, but I think they saved the baby. I think it's going to be okay. Okay. Carissa. <laughs> Are you giving me a, talk a topic for thoughts over coffee? I could talk forever on that subject. Um. Can you please ask Jesus what I have changed in my life to allow me to feel peace and joy regardless of what's going on? You strengthened your faith. You're tuned in. You're reaching to the most high for your guidance now and not outside of yourself to everybody else who's running around with their head cut off and doesn't know what the hell's going on. Yeah. Yeah. And Jesus said, it's because now you love me and you can hear me better. And you can see me better. Now you love me. That's the key. It's the only reason I can get anything that I get because I love them. And you're also a student of mine. I'm going to take a little bit of credit there. No. <laughs> Not really for Carissa, though, because she is, she didn't really need my help. 
Just need some suggestions. Um. Uh, yeah, it sucks. Elaine. We'll pray for you. Everybody pray for Elaine to have be at peace in her marriage because that sucks when you're living in a situation like that. Um. I can't tell you whether you're going to stay or go because I cannot influence that decision. But I can tell you something happens. It really lightens the situation. And um, whether you do stay or you do go, you will find your way to peace again. Pretty soon. A couple months, maybe. Until you look out and go like, wow. It's a lot different now. So, don't give up. I'm not saying don't. I'm not trying to make your decision. You want to you pack a bag and go and you got to do that, do it. But if... What you, take a look at what you really want inside and see if there's any way you can get there. And then pray for that. You know... Tell God, tell Jesus, listen, this is what I need. I need to see this so that I can keep going. I mean, honest and true. And you will see and say, I give it to you. Let me see your miracles in my life. And you'll see it really fast, too. Um, let's see. Looking for a comment here. Here we go. French President Macron is beating the war drums for Europe to go to war with Russia. Remember you said it would look like a war for a day and then the RV would happen. I did say that, huh? That's promising. All right. It is going to look like a war scenario right now. I do think that we need that leading up to um, leading up to the removal of somebody. And we need to let have the response be need, need, responsibility for that situation needs to be fall back in that person's lap. So yeah, it is going to look like that. Um, We knew this was going to get hard. Okay. One thing, and I hate to say it, I hate to say it, um, because I'm mad at how long it's taken, right? I, I hate to say it, but are the normies feeling it? I don't care what they say. They are feeling it. It is getting hard out there. The, the rents, the interest rates, the inability to refinance your home. I mean, that's the favorite thing. Okay, well, let's refinance the house. You know, like um, to get rid of debt, you know, um, the prices on everything is just ridiculous. I don't care what kind of numbers. Oh, we're headed into a recession, they say. Are you kidding me? We're heading into a depression. We're already in a recession. I, I don't know what botched numbers you people are looking at. But I look around and people are hanging by a thread. Um, it's absolutely amazing that I've been able to, to maintain a normal household over here with everything. And everybody's cars are breaking down too. I mean, everybody, I don't know what the deal is with the cars. I'm looking around. Everybody's cars are breaking down. Um, glad I have a new car. Well, three years old, but pretty new. Um, but even the truck, I mean, the truck has been so well maintained for six years. My husband, it looks like it's brand new, pretty much. We had problems with the truck. Everybody I've talked to, their cars broke down, car broke down. It's, there's a part, there's a this, there's that. 
weird. But the problem is, is that people, you got more and more people looking for somebody who knows how to put in a part because they can't, it's like, I can't afford $1,200 at the repair shop right now for this just so I can get to work. I mean, it's bad. It's bad. Um, I knew this would be hard and it is going to look like a war. I do not see us getting to the point where we're at war. But it might look like that. For the most part, yeah. I can't ever say on any given day that everybody will be safe. But, um, yeah, the eclipse of fear porn. I mean, I would be totally surprised if we have, like, mass catastrophe because of an eclipse. No. I say no. I say it'll be used as an excuse like they use everything else to do something else. But the eclipse itself, no, it's not going to be a catastrophic event. Now, if I'm wrong, that sucks. But um, I don't think so. Speed Racer, that was my brother's favorite cartoon. When we were little. Um, four purebred Pomeranians each had problems that needed to be addressed. Started buying beef, internal organs, livers, and kidney. Clean them and boil. Hmm. Well, dogs. I mean, what would dogs eat in the wild? It's probably what you want to give them. It's a good idea. Need more protein. Thank you for everything. My name is Ruth Ann. Do you see us being able to find a house to rent in the next month? See, here's the problem. The rents. Um, just outrageous and hard to find. Um, Uh, and if you have animals, it's hard to find too. People don't want animals in their rental property because it becomes a problem with the damage and everything else. And some people, you know, aren't respectful with other people's property. Um, but the problem is, is the rents are double or triple a house payment, the average house payment. And so, but then they tell them they can't afford a house. Okay. Well, that's ridiculous. Everything's all upside down right now. Um, let's see. Are they going to be able to find a house? Like within a month. So it's probably the end of April. You'll get into something. It's not exactly what you wanted. Okay, but it's something. I already did that. Okay, I got to get going. Um... I'm going to be busy all day. So if any of my mods watch this, my um, admin for my YouTube channels, can you go in and clean it up? Get rid of that ban. You know, it's, it's in there under like four different names. We all know who it is. It's that weirdo that's obsessed with the Muppets. Who's obsessed with the Muppets? It's strange. Okay. But can you go clean that up if, if you would for me, please? Thank you. Uh, I'm not going to have time. Oh, hi, Wally. All right. Wally's asking about, before I get going, uh, other people got a raise from Social Security. Am I or Stacy? Does Stacy make too much? There's some kind of scattered schedule. That I just saw. It might be like a month. Not not the end of this month. Maybe the end of next month. Maybe, could be the end of this month. It's coming. You will get something too. Okay. Well, I think that's all I have time for today. I've got about nine minutes until I have to be on the phone all day long. But thank you guys for 
being here with me this morning. I will be on, I believe, tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern on Real News Live on Rumble with Mike Barra. Um, and by the way, anybody posing as Mike Barra coming in here and chat telling me that you don't like me, you know what? That's never going to happen. We're like siblings. Yeah, we fight, but we're like siblings. Um, thank you, Chris Iverson. I'm seeing it on my streaming service. I have like StreamYard. And so all the, all from Facebook streaming and all the channels will show up in my feed here. And so when I delete here, it's just basically getting it out of my face, but I, I'm not doing it over there. I don't think they should do that. That would be cool. I should change that. All right, guys, I'm going to get going. Go to jenniferfalo.com. You know, mama's trying to make a living. All right, get some readings, get some healings. I'll extend the telegram deal for today. Okay, I've got a private telegram deal for anybody who's on there. Um, you can get two full everything healings, uh, 50 bucks a piece, two for $100. So if you're somebody that gets them for a lot from me, if you're somebody that has a pet or a person that you would like to do bi-weekly on, 100 bucks a month, six months, something like that. That'd be cool. All right. So go on over there and go to jenniferfalaw.com. Where is it? That is how you spell my name. Split the conf consonants down the middle. Fala. Okay. Phonics. Jenniferfalaw.com. And I want to thank you all for being here with me today. And I will see you tomorrow on Real News Live in the morning. Have a great day. Stay positive. Bye.